Uh, everywhere I look, there's a memory, you know, whether good or bad. You know, um, there's some kind of memory. A family left without a home, a community attempting to help. And now the true need for a homeless shelter in Pickens County has come to light. 7 News' Nicole Ford shares the story of how one act of Mother Nature turned a Pickens County family's life upside down in an instant. Through the leaves, signs of what once was is evident. I catch myself saying, well, you know, I'm going to go home, but we're at home. You know, there's not one right now. In an instant, life changed for Katie Green and her mom. I was right here when it fell. I felt the wind and the rain. Just 15 seconds before, she was standing where a tree now fills the room. That was where my bed was. And you can see how big the tree is. Her first thought on her little dog. He was sitting on top of the tree right here. Huddled up, shaking like the leaf, looking down at me. So the three of them walked away with only each other after not one tree but two crashed into their home. And it's hard to look at it like in this condition. You know, it's really, it's very hard to look at it because even I don't realize how, how much I took it for granted. You know, I, until you don't have it anymore. Homeless, yet there's no shelter for them in Pickens County. This is an act of God. And because this happened, where they have to go. Tracy Gant and his wife Sunshine have faced an uphill battle trying to open a shelter in this area. We need people to come in and help build this the shelter to get it open. To help people like Katie and her mom. You don't really realize the need for something until you find yourself in the middle of that need. Well, the Gants hope to open in the fall. We're, we're in a, uh, a hotel room, but our stay ends uh, in the morning. Katie is at the point where she needs a roof to survive. <laughs> but, but, you know, like I said, it's bittersweet because it's a chance for a new beginning. But an end. To what she wants new. In Pickens, Nicole Ford, 7 News. And we have information on our website, WSPA.com, if you want to help Katie and her mom get a roof over their heads again. There's also information on the Shelter of Hope. The Gants need help fixing up to make sure that the next family this happens to does not end up on the streets.